Hey guys, um, I know it's been a while since I've made tutorials and stuff like that, but I had an idea for a really good one, so I want to share it with you all. Um, if you're on Stan Twitter, um, you probably know what a card is. It's, like it says here, a fully responsive one-page site for pretty much anything. Um, I use it, I, it's in my pinned tweet in, on my Twitter. Um, and it's really cute, and it was really fun to make, but... It was kind of hard getting used to at first, which is why I thought it would be really awesome to make a tutorial for it, just to show everyone how simple it actually is. So let me just show you my um, card. It looks like this. So it's called lovemazes.card.co, and it's just a really cute one-pager, or mine's multiple pages, but yeah, it basically just shows everything about me and um, like all my biases. I'm just gonna quickly run through this. And then I have like my stand list. Yeah, so that's my whole card. Um, and it's, it was actually really easy to make, but you just need to get used to a few things and yeah so I thought I'd just do a tutorial on that so basically the first thing you do is go into the card website so you just click choose a starting point and the one I used for my card is this one it's kind of towards the bottom the Samantha Carter one so you just click select and as you can tell, I kind of changed like a lot of things because this looks so different than this. Um, but I'm just going like, to go through the features and kind of tell you what everything does. So what I did is I took out this icon and I dragged this down, got rid of these. You really just want to make it personalized. And I feel like a lot of, oh, you could also start with like a blank canvas. I didn't show you guys that because it's a little complicated. It's better to start out with a um, layout. But that's an option as well if you guys want to do that. So basically, you're just going to start off with your home page, which... So I'm just like taking off all the text so I can like redo it myself. Yeah, I like it like this. So you can edit. Okay, it's actually really, really easy. So you just like click on like the widgets or whatever they're called and type in the text that you want. And you can also personalize this text. For example, if I put like asterisks on each side, it'll bold it like that. Like that looks really cool. And then you can change like the font. There's a bunch of different fonts to choose from, like there's really so many and they have like a bunch of my favorite fonts on here which I really like and you can change the color and the size, the weight. What I really like about this is you can also change the line spacing. Like I love, I love doing this. It just makes it look so much better and you can say if you want it uppercase or lowercase and it's really, it's really cool. So then, um, also on your homepage, you're going to want buttons. So here, if you don't already have buttons or if you want to make new ones, you can just click this plus sign over here and click buttons. But since I already have one, I'm just going to delete that one. Um, and you want, I mean, you don't have to have three. You don't have to have two or four or whatever. You can have as many as you want. Um, I'm just going to make this like super basic. So you're going to want your home, to, like what I have here is home, about, and loves. So I'll just do the same thing here, home, about, and loves instead of contact. Um, and then with this, um, with this you have to link the buttons to a page in your website. And the way you make a page in your website, it's just that you click this plus sign and then you click control and here make sure the type is section break and then you name it something so for example since I have my about right here 
I'm going to make this my about page, so I'm going to do hashtag about. So, yeah, this is going to be my for my about page then. And so when I go to about, I'm going to make sure it says hashtag about here. And when I go to loves, I'm going to make sure it says hashtag loves because eventually that's what I'm going to name that part of my website. And then for home, it's already by default hashtag home. So that's really cool. And you can change the um, appearance of these as well. I think I'm going to make my outline white because I love the look of like not seeing the outline when you're just like looking at your website like that. Like I really love that look. And then I'm going to delete this text because I just find it to be unnecessary. And I'm going to put my links up here. So here, um, you can customize these links, like you can take these off, like I don't have a Facebook or whatever the other one was. So I'll just do my Twitter. And then you just easily, you can just put like your Twitter URL. So that's mine. And then you can change like the color of that. Um, I'm going to change the outline again to white just because I like it like that and I'm going to change the icon to a darker grayer color like that. And what I have on my card is the song. So I'm going to add that to here just to show you guys how to do it. So you just click the plus sign and then you go to audio and you can put in a URL but it can only be from SoundCloud or Bandcamp. So I have a SoundCloud link and you can do autoplay but I don't want to do autoplay. And you can also change like how it looks here which is really cool. Um, but I don't want any of these like extra things so I'm just going to take them all off and then click done. And then there, first page done. That was so easy. And then, so for my next page, I'm just going to do a quick description, name, birthday, age. So you're just going to click the plus sign and go to text. So name, birthday, age. And then I'm going to make it all lowercase. So I'm going to go to format up here, appearance, lowercase, and then letter spacing, I'm going to make them a little more squished together, line spacing, I'm going to make it look more squished together, and also I'm going to put the size down, and yeah, I like it like that. So you can put like other stuff in your about page, like a picture of you or something like that, so you could just like go to images and then upload an image and also with this you can change the shape of your image like a circle or a rectangle which is so cute like it looks really nice like I love the circle look and then you can also change like the height and the width and yeah so that's that and so to make another page you just click plus sign control and then your next page. So this page is going to be my loves, hashtag loves, and I'm just going to put two of my biases. I, I'll put Jeno and I'll put Yungi. So you, to Im insert a picture, like I said, you just click the plus sign, go to image, and then upload an image. And like it says over here, um, the max size for a JPEG, PNG, or GIF is 2 megabytes. So you want to keep that in mind. Uh, what I like about this is you can change like the width and the height and everything. And then you can also make your GIFs into like circles. But um, I want to keep mine as a rectangle. Yeah. And then I'm going to add text under here. So I'm going to add just his name. And then you can make it bigger. You can make the line spacing bigger. And then that's how you add an image. And then you can also do like a gallery. 
which is like obviously like multiple pictures but um, I'm not going to do that for mine and then again I'm just going to do the same exact thing I'm just going to make it a little smaller like that that looks good and then add text under And what I did for my card, um, as you can tell, I put these dividers. So for dividers, all you have to do is click the plus sign and then divider. And it, yeah, it just makes everything look neater, which is why I like it. Um, okay, so next I'm going to show you how to get these buttons like these like back buttons so basically what you do is you just click the plus sign and you click icons and you go click it and then go to left arrow so there's two different types but I like the look of the first one better um, and then you just put in the URL which would be hashtag home to go back to the home page. You would just put hashtag like whatever page you want your arrow to go to. So I'm going to add that. And then for this one, I'm going to add that as well. It's really, really easy like once you get the hang of it. And then for this one, I'll go back to home as well. And that was like a very, very basic tutorial. Um, you can preview everything here and then you can preview how it would look on a phone. Um, but this isn't exactly how it would look on the phone just because you wouldn't see like these control bars. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save this, save um, as like an actual card URL. So I'm going to name it Javeria. I'm just going to name it my name. And I'm going to give it a title, I'm just going to name it Jab, the description, I'm just going to put a dash because I don't really know what to name it, and then publish, site successfully published to fair.card.co, you just go here, and here, like the music's playing, and you can go to about and see everything we put is here. The GIFs are here. Go back, and then you can go click on Twitter. You get the point. So, yeah, that was just a super basic tutorial on how to make a card. It wasn't really in depth, but I mean, to start off, you just need to know like the basic functions and you can kind of figure everything out um, by yourself later. But yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Um, thank you for watching and bye.